Hi guys, I wanted to put together a quick video. I want to talk about the uh, water circulator vacuum pump that we sell. Uh, it's a nice little tool to have inside the lab. We always have, always have a lot of people that ask questions about it uh, just because it's, it's such a simple device. Um, I'll start with, uh, this is basically uh, an ice bath. Uh, so you have your water circulating ice bath built into the bottom. There is a vacuum aspirator built into it. So you have two vacuum ports, two separate vacuum pumps, if you will, built into it. Um, the vacuum that it produces uh, will pull down to 29 inches digitally, uh, but the micron level is actually very high. Uh, so which means it's really good for this type of application or anything that doesn't require a very high micron or deep vacuum pull. And for rotor evaporation, uh, we don't want that. We want to have a nice high micron, uh, but we want to have a good quality vacuum. Uh, so this kind of kills two birds with one stone. You got your vacuum pump and your water circulator. The system next to me is the two liter roto evaporator. I would not recommend using this for anything larger than the two liter just because it doesn't have the capacity to do it. Um, this is really designed for the person who's using this system once or twice, maybe in a, a week or so, uh, because it runs on, it runs on ice. Uh, so if you have access to a lot of ice and ice is cheap, then you can run it as much as you want, but you are going to be changing out the ice every single time you run it if you want to run it for an hour. Um, so if you have to, you know, up your capacity, this isn't going to do it. You might as well just get a chiller. All right, so um, a couple of things I want to talk about. So it's got two hoses uh, that are connected in the back here. It doesn't come with much hosing, it comes with a little bit. So you're gonna have to supply a little bit of your own tubing. But there's two fittings in the back, one that'll go to the top, the output, and the inlet uh, that'll go to the bottom of your condenser. There's a valve on the back, uh, open and close. Basically, you can start and stop the flow um, of the chilling. Uh, basically, reflows it inside here. Um, the vacuum pump, it all, Basically everything's tied into one switch, so it's gonna work as soon as you turn it on, um, which I can do right now. What I got going on down here is um, I just created a little manifold uh, so I could read the vacuum pressure in microns. It operates at about um, about 16,000 microns. It'll go lower than that uh, if you hook it up directly. The um, I got uh, a broken part right here. I, I'm using it anyway. I do have a little small vacuum leak in it, but it's not really the end of the world. I just uh, Right now I got ethanol over here. I got a bath at about 125 degrees. Um, and I guess we're just we'll get going. So I got my bath water. I'll show you guys what I got going on here. I got my bath water up pretty high. What you're looking for is you want to make sure you have a good skim of water across the entire surface. On the inside, you want to have a nice uh, thin film kind of moving across the entire surface of the glass because that whole thing's going to get hot. It's going to help move the vapor to the top. So you see our. Uh, Ice water here is starting to froth up a little bit. I have used this water a couple of times. You wanna make sure you do change the water every time because it gets a little bit gummed up. Again, it doesn't have a strong micron pull, so it doesn't pull a lot of that vapor all the way up into the uh, into the water, but it still gets in there, so you get some contamination. Um, we are running now, so we got a little bit of chilling going on. We got a little bit of dripping. I'll let this go here for a second. I'll show you guys close up of this. As you can see, you got your vacuum on this side. This is the one I'm using. This one, if you were to close it, you can see it'll go straight up. Um, again, I'm not using it. Backside there, you got your uh, valve and your hoses that go into it. And simply put, this system is it's literally just sitting on there. So the whole thing's a lid in the side. The whole thing will actually lift up. All right, so we're back over here. You guys can see we have uh, some pretty good condensing going on here. Maybe pretty quick now. And let's let this go up. Alright, I think that pretty much concludes what I wanted to show you guys, so thanks for listening.